Tunnelsville has, has always uh, been a great community and, and a community that that I would think that's been pretty progressive. We we became a city school system back in the mid '60s. Uh, we felt like breaking away and having control of our own education system was vital to the to the uh, to the, the community and to the growth of our children and our community and being very progressive in, in the way that we did things. So we're kind of in the middle of a vast rural area, but we also figured out that by being 100 miles from anybody, we're kind of in the center of that region. So we kind of joke about the fact that we felt like we're in the center of the universe. We have all partnered up and we've become just one big team. It makes a huge difference when your community can come together and work together. And uh, we found that by doing that, uh, we get a lot more accomplished. For us to become a well-rounded community, we needed the arts. We needed uh, to make sure that our library, our public library, is, is, is doing the things in the 21st century that needs to be done to make it a progressive library. Uh, so playing the traditional role, but also expanding their role and their horizon and being able to capture more opportunities for our folks here. Well, one of the things that we have always thought is that big dreams grow in small towns. You spend a lot of time um, trying to educate your children, and I guess one of the examples is playing an instrument. A, a lot of us spent, you know, eight years of our <laughs> of our life in school trying to learn to master this instrument, and then we encourage them to move on. Well, if these small towns don't offer some way for you to to still use something that was so important to you in your youth, then you've 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 put time into something that you'll put it on a shelf and it'll collect dust. And we believe that you should get it off the shelf, dust it off, come to rehearsal and play your flute. Not to mention the benefits of just having that respite from everyday madness. And uh, you know, all of, all of the members of the orchestra, all of the members of the community theater feel the same way. This is something they do for fun. Downtown revitalization, a lot of the ACE community uh, programs are quality of life programs where we we look at you know the little small groups of folks who want to take and do a community garden and I said hey great let's go down we took a vacant lot that had been grown up in downtown and and uh, and they've turned it into a beautiful little community garden and it's amazing the number of people who that's all they wanted to do in our community they may not be involved in anything else but they love that community garden so that's a prime example, a community playground. We, we built a, a almost $400,000 community playground with all volunteers. They raised all the money. But we had a huge coordination from a small group of people who were motivated and wanted to get the project done and do something great for our community. They went out, raised the money, got the plan, and got the folks to come in and do it, and planned it all out, and it was built within a week. Uh, since we've made the improvements in our library, over... 60% of the people who come to our library now come there from outside Clark County even. So uh, we're reaching far and away more people than we ever dreamed that we would. Um, we love to, um, to put on events and activities and stuff because in doing so it, it gets the volunteers get involved but it also draws to the community and it supports our businesses. Um, we just finished up the hometown celebration and um, that drew in a crowd of a couple thousand people. You couldn't get in a restaurant after the hometown celebration. They were packed out. So um, things like that that um, help build the community and support the community. Uh, one of our sayings is we think it's cool to be rural. And you know, I think it's my job to teach our community that it is cool to be rural. There's nothing wrong with being rural. I think rural communities have had a kind of an inferiority complex at times and we kind of don't, um, we can't appreciate the assets that we do have. Because what do people in big cities do uh, on the weekends? Where do they want to go? They want to get out of the heck out of Dodge, out of the big city and go where? To a rural area, to a lake, to the river, to go hunting to you know, go, go hiking or biking or uh, you know, whatever it might be. So uh, we're already there. So they want to come where we are. So why don't you work here and then go to the big city when you want to? No matter where your product's going in the world, it can get there from here. Uh, and, and we take great pride in that.